It's coming to you live from the Spanish Embassy in Nairobi, uh, Upper Hill. And of course, uh, today morning at State House, we have witnessed Kenya signing uh, an economic uh, agreement partnership uh, with the European Union. And today uh, we'll uh, be hosting, uh, uh, the, the Spanish uh, Secretary of Trade is in the country, that's uh, Shiana Mendes, and he's going to tell us uh, more about what this partnership means for Kenya and how it's set to benefit the two countries. Maybe just welcome to this live broadcast uh, and Tell us more about uh, uh, this European Union partnership. Well, thank you very much, and thank you very much, Minister, for the warm welcome today. Uh, we are really delighted. I'm here on behalf of the European Union uh, Council, as Spain is holding the, the presidency of the, of the Council. Economic uh, partnership agreement will mean that uh, the European Union market will open totally from the very beginning, uh, as soon as it enters into force. Uh, and so all these exports will have the opportunity to get to the European market for the first time without tariffs or, or quotas. And uh, the other way around, as is, this is a development-oriented uh, agreement, uh, the Kenyan market will open, but gradually, and as I said, with the protection of in the infant industry to give time to the industry to develop and to be competitive uh, for the international markets. Mm -hmm. and maybe talking in terms of uh, uh, the, the, the investment flows, maybe uh, you can shed more light on what measures are, are, are being put in place to facilitate uh, uh, and protect investments for both countries. Well, there is also a provision uh, to uh, enhance together in future negotiations um, from, from now on in the future. And for sure, the attraction of investment will also be part of these uh, provisions of the future. But I think that uh, as uh, we are moving together towards these global challenges such as the climate change, um, this uh, agreement will also be useful to attract investment for renewable energies, for example, projects here in, in, in Kenya, uh, clean mobility and other clean industries. Mm -hmm. And how can businesses and stakeholders, uh, uh, you know, uh, from both countries actively engage in, uh, uh, with, with, uh, with from the agreement to maximize uh, its benefits? Well, that's, a, that's an excellent question, in fact, because these agreements are meant to be useful to, to companies, to enterprises for uh, both sides and especially SMEs. So uh, the mandate is to negotiate uh, agreements that can be um, uh, useful and fruitful to, to them. And of course, it's a, it is now up to us, to the European Union and, and, and to Kenya, to implement it uh, in a proper way to um, get uh, the information to the, to the companies for them to know exactly the conditions where they can enter or access the European uh, market to attract, attract investment to, to grow and to be more, more competitive. So uh, the first, um, the first uh, task for us is to um, uh, make sure that all the companies and especially the SMEs are, um, they, they know the, the agreement and they can work with it. Mm. Well, uh, that has been uh, the uh, Spain's uh, Secretary of Trade, uh, Shiana Mendes, who is in the country uh, following uh, Kenya signing an agreement, uh, an economic partnership agreement with the AU earlier today in the morning. And uh, of course, we'll uh, keep you posted about uh, and give you more details of uh, this partnership and other stories in our subsequent uh, bulletins.